Hey paddlers, you ever wonder how to deal with a headwind while you're in a canoe? Stick around, I'll show you. All right, so my name is Pete. This is my channel, Rugged Outdoors Guide, here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. Hey, I'm, I'm uh, recently come back from a trip way up north in northern Ontario, a beautiful lake called Dollars Lake, near uh, a town called Perry Sound. Great place to visit. I had an issue dealing with headwind, and I thought, you know, this would probably make a good video. So that's what I did. There's a couple of techniques we can use, and uh, let's just jump right in, see what it's all about. Dealing with a headwind in a canoe, not a kayak. All right guys, today we're talking about how to deal with um, heading into the wind, how to deal with a headwind. And as you may or may not know, the higher end of your canoe will be blown downwind like mine is right now. Um, it's like a weather vane and the higher end always, always will be blown downwind. So one of the things we can do is we can bring the bow end of the canoe down like that so coming forward and now when I turn towards the wind I'm not immediately blown back uh, I'm, I'm still facing the wind so the problem with this is that your corrective strokes you have to kind of go back and forth you can't really uh, do like a J stroke for example, right? So that's the only catch with moving yourself closer to the center of the canoe. You've got to correct by just kind of going back and forth one side and the other, which is not ideal, but heading into the wind, you know, we'll, you can make it work. All right guys, so that, that's kind of how you, um, you, would, you would make yourself, you'd put yourself in the center of the canoe or you would if you're sitting back here like this, like I was earlier, and the high end of your canoe is like a weather vane and it's going um, downwind, what you could do is, if it's convenient enough, this, the same type of thing as moving forward, you can actually just turn around in the canoe. Now you're on your knees, you probably don't have a really good seat, but in any case, it's easy to head into the wind now. See, I'm not turning back from the wind because the, the, the back end of my canoe now is higher. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is just apply a, a little bit of a different technique for heading into the wind. And that is, you can sit on your seat, which is your stern seat in, in a, when you're solo in a symmetrical canoe like a prospector like this. And you can see that the bow is sticking way up and the wind will always wanna push the bow downwind. And of course, you don't want that when you're heading into a headwind. So what you can do is, if I want to head across the lake over there, I'm heading into the wind. So I would employ uh, a bit of a tacking technique, I guess they would say in sailing. And you don't go right into the wind, you go slightly off, off wind, and you don't have to apply any power strokes because the wind is correcting your, your bow. So that looks kind of like this. I'm heading across, but I'm not doing the J stroke. And what I'm doing is I am not applying any corrective strokes because the wind is doing the correction for me. So that's another way to deal with heading straight into the wind. So let's see what that looks like. I don't have much, much wind here, but starting right about now. Okay, so now the wind has caught my bow and you probably won't be able to tell, but I'm telling you, I'm not applying any corrective strokes. I'm just doing power strokes. I'm not doing a J stroke or a goon stroke or anything. And I'm going perfectly straight at the moment. And as the wind picks up, I might have to pick up my stroke cadence and my, my, uh, the power that I apply, but still, I'm going straight without applying any cor correction. Now, if I move forward just a little bit and continue paddling like this, I will need to apply corrective strokes because the wind won't be pushing my bow anymore because it'll be lower, right? So these are all little quirks that as a veteran paddler, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But this is, I guess, uh, geared more to those who are not veterans and haven't been doing this for years and years. Basically, I'm not heading directly into the wind. I'm uh, heading at about, if, if directly into the wind is 12 o'clock heading, I would be 
at about 11 o'clock because I'm on my port side, on the left side. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm letting the wind hit a bit of the bow on the starboard side and it's pushing the canoe towards the port side, or in other words, the side that I'm paddling on. And when I paddle with a, um, a power stroke, it's pushing against the wind. So the net result is that I'm kind of going straight. Now, every gust of wind can change the uh, efficiency of what you're doing and your position in the canoe will change. But generally, that's kind of how it works. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of um, swing right around here and see how this works. Now, I'm going to get hit broadside with wind. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward here so that both sides of my canoe are treated equally by the wind. So I'll be able to turn around. Doing some sweep strokes here. And okay, so I'm at 12 o'clock now and uh, I'm gonna make myself, I wanna paddle on the other side. So here we go. Here is 11 o'clock, good. So now I'm paddling and I'm not using any corrective strokes, okay? Um, the wind can, is a little, bit, a little bit strong, so I'm moving forward to help correct a little bit, but I'm not working any harder, okay? So this is, I'm just paddling and I'm headed in a straight, direction and I'm not doing any corrective strokes. So that is one way of dealing with wind. And as the wind dies down, you can move your body backwards and sometimes it might even shift. So that's not a per like right now, let's see. Oh, there's like no wind. And now I'm kind of being moved around. <laughs> so it's not a perfect technique, but it does help a little bit. Now it's picked up a lot. It's a very gusty day. It's right around noon. So I've had to do some corrective strokes, but anyway, um, Guys, it's a technique that you can kind of use and use it in cooperation with like a J stroke and other corrective strokes if you need to. So you don't head straight at 12 o'clock into the wind. You head a little bit at either one o'clock or 11 o'clock uh, to kind of aid in your um, um, directional navigation or your, not your navigation, but your, uh, your, your bearing. To maintain your bearing, you can uh, head into the wind slightly off center. So now I've kind of gotten the other way and, and <laughs> the wind wants to catch my canoe the other way because my canoe's not loaded, right? It's, it's light, very light, and it's a prospector. So two thirds of it is sticking up out of the water. So it really is a weather vane. <laughs> all right, guys. So having said all that, I'm going to head in right now. There's a, there's a guy in a bass boat just ahead of me and I don't want to run into him. Hey, bud. <laughs> all right, guys. So uh, until I come out with the next video, which should be in the next couple of days, we try to put out one video a week, if not more. Um, please do uh, like and subscribe if you had any use out of this. But even if you don't like and subscribe, I will keep making videos for you guys because I just enjoy it and I hope you guys do too. All right, guys, until the next time you hear from me, get out there. You know what I'm going to say, right? Enjoy God's creation and keep on looking up. Thank <laughs> you.